something that we'll probably need to do at some point in any of our fault tree projects is combine data from multiple projects into one. There's a number of reasons you might want to do this. One, maybe you've already modeled the particular system that you're modeling now in a previous fault tree, and you want to be able to reuse that data. Maybe it's not the whole fault tree, maybe it's just certain components. Certain basic events have already been created, failure data has already been entered, and you don't want to have to redo that work. Another possibility is maybe you have multiple team members working on certain sub-branches of one larger overall project, and at the end of their uh, efforts, you're going to want to be able to combine them together into one overall global fault tree for the system. Whatever the reason, there's a number of different cases in which you'd need to combine data into a single project. There's two primary ways of doing that, which one you use is largely user preference, but each has its strengths and weaknesses. I'll start by talking about the library facility. As an example, I have a new fault tree open. This is the cooling system for which we built the electric system. Remember I mentioned in the previous model that the electric system provides continuous power to a cooling system. Well, here's the fault tree for that. It was built by another member of my team. Now we need to be able to combine these fault trees together so we can analyze the whole system at once. Let me start with the first way, the library method, to demonstrate that. Any project file that I've ever created can be opened as a library. This is for the purpose of taking information out of that library and copying it into another project. Let me show how that works. If I go to the File menu and then select Attach Library, I can navigate to any Reliability Workbench project file on my computer and then select it to attach as a library. I'm going to choose that Electric System fault tree, which I saved under the name ELEC1. When I select Open, Reliability Workbench will automatically change the right window view mode to the library's view. I now have a new view that we call this the library tree or the library hierarchy. It looks like the project tree on the left hand side, but this is the data for the library file elec1 that I just added. You can see that in the title bar right here. It lists the path and file name of the file. This data is from that file, and I can copy it into my current project file. Remember, this is the path of my current project file, and this is the project tree for my current project file. I can copy data from the library simply by dragging and dropping from the library tree on the right hand side to the project tree on the left. Let's take a look at how to do that. If I grab my elec b fault tree, I can drag and drop it across to my fault tree pages on the left hand side, and now it's been added to my project. When you take a gate, all associated structure comes along with it. Events, failure models, etc. will all come along with the structure. I dropped the gates on the fault tree pages node and it created it as a new top gate in my project. I could have also dropped it on the cooling gate, in which case it would have been created as an input to that project. To get back to my project, I can simply select the diagram. And now that I can see that elec b electric system is now a part of this project, and I can jump back and forth between the two fault trees. If I need to link them up, I can use one of the methods I've discussed earlier, cut and paste, or add an existing gate. Let me do that now. I've now combined my cooling and electric fault trees into a single fault tree. Remember that the library file and the project file are still distinct files on my computer. When I copied that data from the library, it took the data and put it into this project file, but that library file still exists on its own over here. I can close it, I could attach another library file, I can close this project, and the library will remain open on the right. Also, taking data out of the library file does not change it. However, I can change the library file by copying data into it. I could take basic events, fault tree structures, any of the data from my project on the left, and copy and paste that via drag and drop into the library on the right hand side as well. You might do that if you have a library of common fault tree elements that you reuse. Maybe I've added a new fault tree element to my project and I say, hey, I think I should, that should be in my library as well. You can drag and drop it to the library view on the right hand side. Just be sure to use the file save library option to save the data on the right hand side. Another way of thinking about it, these options here, new project, open project, recent, save project, all these items ap apply to the data on the left hand side here under the project tree control. The options below the separator, new library, attached library, recent, save, 
objects, clothes, etc., all apply to the data on the right hand side. Data is changed between the two when I drag and drop between them. If I change one or the other, I need to use the appropriate save option, either save project to save the data on the left hand side or save library to save the data on the right hand side to make sure that reliability workbench actually commits that data to the file on my hard drive. And remember, you can attach multiple libraries at a time. So you can have multiple repositories of data that you're drawing from all simultaneously. However, remember, you can only have one project file open at a time on the left hand side. Now let's talk about the other method of combining data from multiple projects into a single project. That other method is called the append facility. Append allows you to take all data from one or more projects to combine into a single project. Whereas the library allows you to take specific or precise data, maybe one basic event or maybe one page of the fault tree, of multiple page fault tree, the append facility will take all information. And this is really the best feature to use if you have two or more fault trees that you want to combine all together into one. For instance, if you have multiple team members work, each working on their own branch, and then you need to combine all those branches together. Moreover, when using the append facility, good nomenclature can really help you out. Let me demonstrate how that works. When you append, as I mentioned, it will take all data from another project file and copy it into the currently open project file. While it does so, whenever it sees a gate, an undeveloped transfer gate in your current project that has the same name as a gate in the project you are appending from, it will automatically link those two together. Let me explain. I've modified my cooling fault tree to add an undeveloped transfer gate called ELECB. Of course, I've specifically chosen that name because that's the name of the top gate from my electric system fault tree. To use the append facility, I can go to the special functions menu and choose the append option. The batch append dialog opens and it allows me to add one or more projects from my computer. When I click the Add Project button, an open dialog appears, and I can find the file or files that I want to append. I select the file, click Open, and when I'm done, I can click the Batch Append option. Reliability Workbench will take all data from the appended file and copy it into my current project file. Not only that, but you can see the ELECB fault tree was linked to that undeveloped transfer gate. In other words, the two fault trees were automatically combined where I wanted them to be. Let me give you a typical use scenario for this. What I need to do here is combine fault trees from two different coworkers. One of my coworkers, Damien, has been building one of the fault trees for my system. His other coworker, Anthony, has been building the other fault tree. At the end, these two fault trees, which just represent parts of the overall system, need to be combined into a single file so that we can run our analysis. What I've done here is created a master fault tree file, which combines those two fault trees together. When I go to the append facility, I've already created an append template that imports both Damien's and Anthony's fault tree file. I've saved this as a template so I can redo this batch append whenever I need to. I select the batch append facility and reliability workbench will copy all data from those two projects and link them into the correspondingly named fault trees. Now I have this master fault tree, I can run the analysis and get my results. Now let's say later on Damien or Anthony updates his fault tree and we need to incorporate those updates in the, now in our master fault tree. To do that, I will revert back to my master fault tree. And then I can simply rerun the batch append to catch the latest updates to Damien's and Anthony's fault trees. If I structure my trees in this way, I can have multiple team members working on different components, different branches within an overall system, combine them, and keep them up to date with the latest changes.